Hello, the uh, switch from NAS to HDD enclosure came after I realized that I don't need two computers that run 24 seven, which was the case here. I had the NAS, which turned to be a fantastic device. I'm running on the NAS, the regular storage, NAS, uh, sur home surveillance systems, system, three cameras that are not designed to stream to a home surveillance system and also it's running a, a Plex server and a few other services mostly as containers. So I cannot complain from the divine, absolutely amazing Synology DS220 Plus, especially after I upgraded the RAM to 6 gigs, it become a beast. I just realized that I don't need one when I have my home lab, a small HP uh, G4 with a 12 core i7 processor. That beats the Celeron of the Synology and also it provides much more possibilities. And also the Synology has two base only for two hard drives, while here for a humble $150, I've got this. You want to get HDD enclosure with RAID controller, the fast USB 3.1 interface. So this is the device, Yota Master. This thing is heavy, even before mounting the hard drive, the hard drives, uh, it is already feels like metal. It's a thick aluminum alloy. You want to make sure you get the, the one with the USB-C interface. And uh, over here, the jumpers for the RAID configuration, I can tell you right now that I'm going to use the one that is for RAID 5, like this. Okay, because even with three hard drives, this is the plan now, I have two hard drives, four gigs, uh, four terabytes each. I will buy only one more and uh, that will double my storage. I will have still the redundancy, but a better usage of the space because only one hard drive out of three will be redundant. The speed of RAID 5 uh, compared to mirror should be actually better or comparable. So this is what we have from the back side, on the front side. Many people complain about the quality of this door. Let's see how it opens. It did look filmsy even on a video. So I am not, I don't have high expectations. Yeah, it's like a toy, but I guess it will do the job. And here are the plastic uh, drawers. I don't see a problem with that. And uh, inside you got your uh, SATA interface. It is coming with two USB cables. The one is USB-C to the USB-B and the other is USB-C to USB-C. That is nice. It also comes with a attached screwdriver and the screwdriver is magnetic, which is <laughs> already a plus. Screws for uh, the 2.5 uh, from below and the 3.5 from the side. The drawer allows both 3.5 hard drives and then you screw them from the side or 2.5 you screw from the bottom.
power cable. I just inserted the replacement hard drive and now it seems we are settled so far but uh, somewhere in the user reviews I've read two things the one is that this light is not bright enough as you can obviously see it is it is being driven from the back to the front and uh, both the blue light and the red light we may have another uh, broken hard drive that's okay these are my you know this is my cemetery graveyard of hard drives this is where they're coming from I mean, it's completely normal uh, if some are broken corrupt make sure you got the fast interface because many models are still offering the USB 3.0 and they blast the advertising with 5 gig, uh, gigabit per second that is nonsense you will be running at uh, 80 70 megabytes per second which is okay speed for you know backup storage for network attached storage but uh, just you need to answer the, uh, the question whether you are willing to spend $30 more for the much faster speed of this USB-C. Uh, even without the RAID feature, why do I still recommend the RAID? Because the RAID in this case is a hardware RAID. Um, otherwise, you will have to configure a software RAID on Linux that's easy I don't even remember if Windows allows you to configure a software RAID uh, even if it does the speed would be questionable yeah this is where you should look at this is the difference between the Yota Master models now you've got the U they all start with PS500 PS500 but you have the one series that is ends at U U this is the slow USB 3.0 interface and then the fast interface the fast series with the USB 3.1 is PS500C something so you want to get of the 500C this is something I had to dig and find out on my own and this is the reason why uh, and this is the reason why I actually decided that video uh, this video is necessary to the world because they conceal most of the sellers conceal the difference they talk about 5 gigabit they don't say it's uh, USB 3.0 and uh, they rarely mention the model so if it's a USB-C that's the right model the faster model the C uh, series if it's with the regular USB and the model ends with U that is the slower and it, you, it's okay you can buy if you don't uh, you're not looking for higher speed that's fine 